hello influencers good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you're watching me welcome to another edition of no host bad with it my name is itunu how are we doing people <laughs> nigeria and prophecy you see there is this uh, prophecy about the election that's been that's gone and gone on the on the internet i will allow you to watch it this man, uh, his name, he said this, his name is Feyi Daniels, and he said he's a bishop. Yeah, um, I'm very reluctant to see something online and post it. I've seen the video last week or so, so I said, okay, I'll keep it. When all, the, all is said and done, we'll come and compare notes. But unfortunately, yesterday, I, you know, internet doesn't forget. I saw the original prophecy that this Feyi Daniel copied word to said it on YouTube said okay what he said is, is, is coming to pass mm -mm. he lifted a prophecy online watch this understand them by these things I say about two years ago remember I told you that the second shall become the first do you remember and by that, I refer to the highest apex seat of power in Nigeria. And I didn't tell you that it's going to be five years now or another government. I said in this government. That was all the Lord told me, and that was all I said. Today's date is what? Shout it. 19th of 2023. All right. If you ask me a straight question on the road, and just say, I'm free. Who will be the next president of Nigeria, Tapuari? My answer will shock you, but you will understand later. Because the ways of the prophet is from the ways of the man. If you ask me on the road, just walking on the road, and you do not you don't ask me to explain anything. I say, sir, after Buhari, who is the next president of Nigeria? Do you know the name I'll tell you? Yemi Oshibaki. I told you, I said, my words will shock you. I know you are confused already. Believe me, it's my office. I say it again. Hear me carefully. If you ask me on the street, except he, you know, there's always the will of man. But now, hear me carefully. Not the will of the people now. The will of the people has been sealed as in looking into the sky. But if you ask me, I say, after Buhari, who is the next president who will sit on the seat called the throne of Nigeria in Asuru? I will tell you the name is Yemi Oshibak. Except when the man says no. But mark my word, it will be offered. The presidential election will be peaceful. Don't be afraid. They will not be killed. Go out and vote. However, so because there is no money to buy vote, he will lose in the polls. But already there is a partnership with a man in the system that will cause the vote to be read. So suddenly I saw the numbers dropping. And I saw INEC announcing BAT as a winner. However, follow me. I even saw what he was wearing. He was announced winner and he was you see we will see a video where we do like this. The video we trend. How will 
Spanish Revolution start? Hear me. How would the revolution start? Somehow, the information will spill out that the election was rigged. Then the youth will get to the street. It won't just be Lagos. It will be almost every state of Nigeria. The youth will get to the street and they will start the protest. These protests will be, will lead to a revolution. You hear me? It will be go to court. You go to court. And the day for swearing to Nubu will come. I saw white, I saw green. About to be sworn in that day. And everybody that has said is the next president will be rejoicing. You say, yes, I told you. Prophet, I don't see far. Was that telling you? Did I tell you to know he's the next president? And why at that event it looks like a very open ground, like a stadium like center. Mass, mass. You know, I'm, I'm telling you what we have on it. So, uh, while at that event, military men will come in and they will arrest you. Hmm. <laughs> I'm playing the movie before you have it. So that you will know the prophecy is not just calling people's name. Mark my word too. I'm speaking from my office. I'm not speaking by your gifts. You'll be arrested. And at that point, an interim government will rule Nigeria. government that will rule Nigeria will not be military. It's not a coup. The lead military will partner with the interim government and they will ask who should be put on the throne. Buhari will say, I'm done. I'm for peace. And they will say, make Oshibaju. <laughs> relationship of Oshibajo with Baat. Oshibajo might say, I don't want. If he says so, they will look for another. That's the only condition. But what I saw, but that Oshibajo accepted and he became a president. That signed as a question mark, a condition to it. Are you loving the movie? Before the 29th, the swearing in day went back to be taken. Before that day, went back to be taken. I saw Peter will be arrested and detained by DSS after the election. Because he's coming to play the role of somewhat like a Messiah, but not the way you define Messiah. And the way Messiah suffers, he must suffer. Be arrested and detained. When the moment that is done, please stay in your houses. The moment that is done, the revolution and the riots will increase. There will be killings. There will be destruction of properties. As the days to the election comes by, you will see more PDP governors joining Peter. They might not declare publicly, but they will give him all the support that he needs. Okay, so let me enough enough of that. Let me just point out some things. He said he saw I'll show you the original. <laughs> I will definitely show you the original prophecy. Don't worry. So just quickly, for those of you looking for prophecy everywhere that 
all the thing you think about is prophecy or prophecy not knowing not knowing god for yourself he says something that, is, uh, that i want to he says somehow it would be it would be leaked that um, the election was rigged mm -hmm. note that he didn't mention social media because if god told you this detail you should be able to 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 see social media that this thing will be will be <laughs> Would be revealed through the social media. He saw, he said, I saw green and white. That's Nigerian's color. That's the color that is used to decorate swearing in events. It's not a big deal. Let me now show you the original. Compare the two, you will now see that this guy, I don't know what happened about his case, the rape, uh, rape case against him. Yeah, but I, it was in 2020. And you know the kind he was in court Who that this guy lifted from internet seven shocking revelations about nigeria's february 2023 presidential election watch out for nigeria february 25th general election nigeria's february 25th general election will be a very shocking and different one because of the following reasons one peter obi will win the poll but result will be rigged two Bola Ahmed Tanubu will be declared winner by the Independent National Electoral Commission. 3. Massive protest greater than NSARS protest will spread all over Nigeria and this will lead to loss of lives and properties. 4. Peter Obi will go to court seeking for justice. 5. On the day of swearing in, Bola Ahmed Tanubu will be arrested and not sworn in as president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. 6. Current Vice President Professor Yemi will be made the interim president for some time. 7. Military will join forces with Peter Obi and the court will declare Peter Obi the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, but not on the 29th of May. Pray for Nigeria. Pray for Africa. Pray for the whole world. I see light at the end of the tunnel. Nigeria will be great again. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yep. That, that was a prophecy lifted from uh, TikTok. So, this guy, I like I said, I don't know what happened concerning the rape case. It's uh, it was said to have raped two two pastors in his church. There was an account in the Punch newspaper, you know, Punch newspaper of Nigeria, that the the lady gave an account that um, this man invited her to his house in Lekki. Let me read it. The founder of a church in Lagos State, identified only as Bishop Daniels, the Fei Daniel, has been accused of raping an assistant pastor, female pastor, at his whole house in Lekki area of Lagos State. So that's the opening to the story. The lady said she she he was in, she was invited because that was a program she didn't attend. So he, he, she, the Fei invited her to Lagos that he wanted to punish her and that when she got to the house he was alone in the house he told her to strip naked and uh, she was like okay what's going on she said strip naked so that she was he was he was angry that she disobeyed him and she did and she said he said he should kneel she should kneel down she did then later this so i don't want to, you know i don't like doing long videos i just want to give you the summary of the story it's online please google it and then she said she said he saw my nakedness and said he wanted to test my loyalty that's where i'm going and was not having sex with me he told me to put my clothes back on and wearing them he told me to take up to take them off again long story cut short he had the kind of knowledge of this lady and told her not to tell anybody which uh she said she told some church members and then another one said she had similar encounter with him and that she even bled during the process people people somebody who said is a bishop who called himself a bishop told you to this is him this is Faye daniels the, the man you just saw in, the, in that video giving those uh, i don't know what he called prophecy 
a man is somebody who said is a bishop, pastor, whatever title he he, he gave he gave himself, told you that he was as a member of his church. He told you to strip. That's his photo. He told you to strip naked, and then you did because of what? Is that the only church in the universe that you cannot call his bluff and and get out of his house? So the case was on and on and on and for some time, and then it died down, you know, how Nigeria is, how the the sea rape victims and all that. So maybe the, maybe he killed the case and is out there prophesying, lifting uh, so anyway, somebody who could rape can do anything, lifting uh, other people's prophecy on, on the internet, on TikTok, and then begin to to say look at the drama look at how it was dramatizing <sighs> let me let allow to watch another video this one called himself okoto jesu he outlined he said there wouldn't be any election in nigeria so what are we seeing now in 2023 there won't be election in the year 2023 <laughs> It is the word of God. And that's how he showed me. It changes not. That in 2023, there won't be election in the year 2023. All our people were right. It is the word of God. And that's how he showed me. It changes not. That in 2023, there won't be election in the year 2023. All our people were right. It is the word of God. And that's how he showed me. It changes not. That in 2023, there won't be election in the year 2023. You see that? He's emphasizing it. God told him that God told him that there won't be election 2023. So do we have election now? I'm doing this video this morning so that you people should get your act together. Know God by yourself. Please subscribe to this channel and like, share. Let's go. Thank you so much. So I'm doing this, like I said, for you to know God for yourself. Prophecy is old fashioned. Yes, it's old fashioned. Whatever God cannot tell you about yourself, don't look for it elsewhere because you are his child and he can talk to you. I don't know. I don't know. No God for yourself. You are under a demonic pastor who says you should strip naked. She, he wants to test your loyalty and all that. Come on. And you did. You, you couldn't walk out of the house. No God, read your Bible. No God for yourself. The, these people have created fear in the minds of people. They have give these people they, this video terms of this. They've created fear in the minds of people. Nobody has monopoly of God. Yes. Nobody. You are his child. I kept saying it on my channel. God doesn't have grandchildren. You are his child. He talks to you. Listen to him. Stop allowing these people to, to, to manipulate you. So maybe if Eid Daniels, for instance, killed the, killed the rape uh, case against him. You know how it is in Nigeria. So people, please stay safe. A lot is going on. Stay safe. Just stay safe. Uh, according to that white man's prophecy, I don't know his name, he just, you know, a lot of time they don't do all the drama we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if in case uh, my, my thought about Obi being arrested is for the DSS to give him protection. Yes, they might do that. It's, yeah, they, they, it's, it's under the, their, their, their prerogative to do that. They can say they arrest him. To, to, to give him protection because trust me everybody is tired 
even people that are even working for them, they are tired. They are just they are just being unreasonable. If somebody could record uh, an audio inside the kitchen cabinet of Atiku, which I played a few days ago, how they are planning to use INEC to rig the election, somebody inside that recorded that and sent it out. If somebody can record a, uh, a video where uh, Tinubu was telling them, I posted it on my, uh, on my Instagram yesterday night, if somebody could record that and send it out, where he was telling them, do whatever you need to do, grab it, run with it, you know, do anything, just ensure we win. People that are with them, they are recording stuff and sending it out. So that will show you that I said a few days ago, loyalty is earned. It's not, it's, you can't compel people to be loyal to you. It's what you do that will make people to be loyal to you. All right, people, please stay safe. They will not succeed last, last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see you again very soon. Nigeria is delivered and that is it. Be well, fake, prof, no God for yourself. That's the message. I love you. Bye.